Insulation is a very inexpensive project, but it will greatly reduce your energy costs by holding heat inside your home. You can purchase an insulating jacket for an electric water heater. Following the directions that come with it, wrap the jacket around the water heater and secure it in place with the tape supplied. While you're in the basement, you can keep the hot water from cooling on the way to the upstairs faucets. Snap-on foam insulation is easy to install. Cover as much of the exposed hot water pipes as you can. Where the pipes take a turn, cut the ends of the insulation at an angle with a utility knife so that the ends of the insulation touch. When you are done, you'll have a completely insulated jacket around the hot water pipes, leading all the way to the floor. Because heat rises, the biggest heat loss is in the attic and crawl spaces. Adding an additional layer of insulation batting over the existing insulation will stop the heat from heading out the roof. When adding existing insulation, unfaced fiberglass blanket is recommended. When handling fiberglass, be sure to wear a high-quality respirator and a long-sleeve shirt. Also wear gloves to protect your hands from irritation. The vents in your eaves allow your house to breathe. Check to see that the existing insulation and the new blanket do not block the flow of air from the eave vents. For best results, install ventilation baffles inside the eaves to allow for an unrestricted flow of air from these vents. Staple the ventilation baffles in place. The first step is to measure the area underneath the eaves. It's easier to cut separate squares of fiberglass for this area and press them in place under the eaves. To cut fiberglass, transfer the measurements to the fiberglass and compressing the fiberglass under a 2x4, run a sharp utility knife along the edge. The fiberglass will cut cleanly. When all the spaces under the eaves are filled with squares of fiberglass, rows of batting should be laid at right angles over the remaining existing insulation. Continue to lay sections of batting at right angles until the space is filled. Keep the insulation three inches away from metal flues or recessed lighting fixtures in the ceiling below. This extra layer of attic insulation, combined with your basement insulation projects, will go a long way to reducing your energy costs and will pay for themselves quickly.